Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss how to sketch diffraction diagrams for CI IGCSE physics exam by solving challenging past paper questions. For part A, it is given that wave fronts are approaching a gap in a barrier. So this is the gap and this is the barrier. I mean, this is the barrier. So it is written here. This is barrier. For this question on figure 6.1, we need to draw at least three wave fronts to the right of the barrier. It means three wave fronts we have to draw to the right of the barrier. It means on this side we need to draw. This question is about diffraction. It means about spreading of the wave when they pass through a gap. Next thing we need to understand the distance between these two wave fronts and this distance is equal to the wavelength. The size of this gap is almost equal to wavelength. So it simply means that in this case maximum diffraction and we need to draw circular wave fronts. In order to draw circular wave fronts, we need to locate the center of this gap. So the center of gap is almost here. So at this point, so we can mark the center of the gap. So this is about center of gap. Now we need to use compass to draw the circular wave fronts. Place your compass and open this. So you see, if I open this compass, we need to find this. The radius of the circle has to be equal to this. We can draw our first circular wave front. So this is our first circular wave front. Again, we need to open this or compass. Open this one equal to the radius, mean equal to the radius from the center to the second wave front. And we need to draw our second circular wave front. So this is our second circular wave wave front. In order to draw the third one, we need to again open compass and now this time up to the third wave front from the center. So up to third wave front. So this is now again we have to draw our third wave front. This is how we can draw circular wave fronts. We also need to be very careful with the distance means the distance between these wave fronts and the distance between these wave fronts has to be the same this has to be the same because same type of wave in the same medium so this distance has to be equal to this distance that's all what we need to do for this question but we can a little bit adjust to make it look better we can clean this part so this is how you need to draw. For part B in figure 6.2 circular wave fronts from a point source in a tank of water strike a straight barrier. So this is straight barrier this black line you can see this is straight barrier. Waves are coming from this point source so this is over point source. The reflected wave fronts seem to come from a single Point. If you look at these five wave fronts, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, fourth and fifth, they reach the barrier and they are reflected from the barrier. So it simply means that for wave front number four and five, we need to draw reflected wave fronts. On figure 6.2, we need to mark a dot to show the position of this point and we need to label that point using letter capital C. For our second part, we need to draw the reflected circular wave fronts. First of all, let's try to answer part one. For part one, we need to locate the position of the image and that one has to be at the same distance from the barrier as the point source. If we place our scale here, you can see the distance from the barrier of the point source is about 1.8. So we will move our scale up and the distance here of the image location also has to be 1.8. So this is about 1.8. So we can mark the point here. So this is location of the image or in the question they're asking you about that single point from where wave fronts are coming, reflected wave fronts are coming. So we can mark this point here. So that's all what we need to do. 
but for this one we also need to use capital letter C so you can also label this one using capital C let's move on to second part for the second part we need to draw reflected circular wavefronts only these two wavefronts are reflected so only for this one and for this one we need to draw two reflected wavefronts for that purpose we need compass so you need to place your compass at this point so we will place our compass here and we can move this one and we can open you see here now at this point this is our reflected wavefront so you see you can draw like this so this is for reflected wavefront we can draw like this now we need to open this more and we need to draw the next wavefront so we can open this more now you can see here so this is our second wavefront that's all this is how you need to draw these two reflected wavefronts